I'm now going to start my final video, which is my blue line video. My blue line is the current line that I have under construction right now. So let me get my little mine cart out here. Uh, one of the things I wanted to do with the blue line, oh, look at all of the monsters up on the hillside there that ah, I'll have to go take care of them some other day. Reason I built the balloon line was basically all the things I'd learned with roller coasters, building it in Minecraft, I wanted to apply it. A couple other things I wanted to do, I wanted to go to the maximum altitude the game would allow. I also wanted to go to the minimum depth that the game would allow, maximum depth. So I'm shooting up. That little mine cart acts as an accelerator, so it's shooting me up to the top. This is the highest level. It's above the clouds. I'm now zooming down to the absolute lowest level. Minecraft is 64 meters high and 64 meters underground. Um, each square that you see is a, can, supposed to be one meter in length. Uh, that was another accelerator to keep me moving up this uphill slope. I added the torches not only to uh, keep monsters away but to give visual reference. This is the furthest east that I've gone in the game. This uh, roller coaster is planned to circumnavigate every place that I've been. Minecraft is quite interesting. As you move out, it creates more of the, the world for you, so there is really no end to how far you can travel, but I'm kind of limiting myself to a small area right here. Uh, this one also goes through some trees, and it takes me up here, and then it stops. This is as far as I've got. Uh, you can see one of, more of my markers. You can also see there in the distance as it starts rendering the cloud top line as it actually goes above the clouds. <clears throat> Again, that marker is a real handy thing to have uh, when you're going a long distance because you can then use it to identify where you've been if you get lost or anything like that. They're pretty simple to make. Um, I'll make a marker really quick here at the end of this line. I'll use what we uh, call gravel in the game and I'm gonna build a tower of gravel and basically you jump and you drop a cube of gravel and you jump and you jump and you jump and you jump and eventually you will get to the maximum height the game will allow. Now if you notice there's a black border around the edge of those cubes as I'm creating them that's where the game allows me to continue to create. I think I've probably hit, yes I've hit maximum altitude so I've actually built a marker now below me. You can see the railway that I've built as it shoots through that little mountain there and goes off into the distance and swings around. It goes under that mountain there, pops out over there, and at the bottom of that little triangular shape is my home base. And way off in the distance, you can see a marker. Uh, you might be able to see a marker off in this direction as well that I created. But this is the small world that I can see. I'm going to actually dig now using a shovel and I'm actually going to s basically get rid of that tower I just created. But that's how you play and do things in Minecraft. It's everything in the world is manipulatable except for the clouds pretty much. And I defy somebody in the real world to actually be able to manipulate clouds. I don't think we've figured that out yet. I've switched to cobblestone now and I'm going to continue to extend my railway line so as you can see that little black box appears again wherever I'm focused and if I switch to cobblestone I can lay another cobblestone and then I can lay another cobblestone at the end of that of course I don't want to fall off here that could actually hurt so I'm very slowly moving to the edge of each one of these blocks and, and laying another block on the edge of it there if I switch to rail lines there, then I can actually move here and add rail as I'm going on. That's the top of a tree. Those are leaves. This is, like I said, cobblestone. You can see caves down there. That's another place that monsters spawn. There are some pigs bouncing around in the outside area there. You can use them for food. Yay, bacon! Um, <laughs> Speaking of food, if you look at my hearts down there, I'm a half injured on one heart there in the very end of that list, so I can open up my inventory and grab some bread. Then if I use the mouse to highlight the bread and right-click, I've just eaten the bread and notice that's healed me up. Again, if I wanted to look at the um, 
area there next to those hearts where you can see that kind of a shirt icon that is my armor I'm wearing some diamond armor my boots are about ready to fall apart you can see that that little scale at the bottom is broken down and that's reflected by the fact that some of those armor pieces are darkened and that means that I've actually had some damage to my armor oh look look at that little creeper there trying to get close to me when I'm up in the sky like I am right now. It's one of the reasons why I build my roller coasters in the sky. They have a tendency not to uh, have monsters bother me way up here. Like I said, the drawback is that if I fall off it, I'm going to take some damage and I might actually die right from the damage. Well, that's enough for this video. I hope to see you again in a future video. Thank you very much for listening and have a great day.